Hi guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today I'm here on my low level starting over account and we're gonna just clear my map, but no, we're not gonna be using warriors. We use warriors all the time. Let's think about what we want to use. Now, grenadiers are always fun to play with and I've been upgrading my grenadiers a lot. Let's see here. My grenadiers are currently level seven and I think last time I shot a grenadier video, they were way, way less, but today I think I want to do a Rifleman and Zuka combination, Ruka. Now Ruka is not a combination you see anymore. Now if you're a low level player, go ahead and use Ruka. Guys, I'm talking about low, low level players. <laughs> Typically when you unlock heavies, you could make the switch over to heavies and just do heavy Zuka. But we're going to be using Ruka today because Rifleman and Zuka is, is also really cool. So let's think about what we want. First of all, can we upgrade this? Wow, that's crazy. Level four second wind, I'm very excited for it. But today guys, we're gonna be using some crystal critters, maybe some ice shields, and then maybe a second wind at the end or something. We'll just be doing a vast variety of it. And I could boost up rifleman speed, but I don't think that's the best ability I should be boosting up because my riflemen are already going to be way faster than my Zookas. So while I'm using this combination, let's talk about why you shouldn't be using this combination. One, there's way better troops you should be using than Riflemen and Zookas. Don't get me wrong, Riflemen and Zookas is a decent combination if you're a low level, but as soon as you get up higher in metals, it is not a good combination. You're seeing here that my Riflemen are absolutely getting destroyed and I have no, I have, I have no medics, which is probably part of the issue, but I'm trying this without medics. Okay, so we got some crystal critters coming in, hopefully healing up my troops. It, it's not going well. I'm hoping we could just burn this core fast enough. We definitely will, but it will be very, very close. So the reason this combination sucks is because when you level up in Boom Beach, your opponent levels up in Boom Beach, they get way more splash defenses and they're able to just destroy you by the splash. And this is a combination that splash damage hurts a lot. It kills you, it's very, very bad. And I'm looking around trying to find lower level players because I know for a fact that I will not be able to destroy a lot of these high level players because this is not a good combination. And you know what makes that worse? This. This right here. The fact that my riflemen are at level 9. To put things into comparison, my Zookas are level 19 and my Warriors are level 17. I didn't think about that before I started the video, but we're going to keep going because that is what we do. So that's probably part of the reason it's the video is not going to go very well today, but I think also it's just not a good combination. Like this player has mortars, flamethrowers, um, rocket launchers, shock launchers, just so much, so many defenses, so much damage, it hurts. It really does hurt. And if you're not in tune and trying to save all your troops with every bit of gumbo energy you have, you will lose bases very, very fast. And you see me getting destroyed by mines. We haven't even talked about mines yet. Mines are your worst nightmare. Now I'm getting destroyed here but can we do anything to make Ruka maybe a stronger combination, a more viable combination for players that are wanting to bring back their old beginning days of Boom Beach? And I think we can. And I'm going to try to do some smoky Ruka attacks next. First of all, we were able to defeat that base. Kind of blows my mind. I really wasn't expecting to be able to defeat a level 54 player, any player really with this combination with level nine riflemen that's not something i was expecting but i am kind of happy we were able to defeat them now i could bring one boat of riflemen and defeat higher level players but i feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of ruka so i'm a little hesitant to do that but there are definitely some bases that we might have to revert to doing something like that okay so this player has a ton of damage, a ton of splash damage, has really good mortars, 
I'm not attacking this player. I'm finding a new opponent because I do not want to attack that player. Even if I had warriors, I would not want to attack that player. Okay, this is the base we can handle. We're going to get our troops up here and flare down to the core. I don't want to change up my combination, guys. I really want to keep my combination as it is because I feel like that's part of the fun. I want to make it hard on myself too, apparently. Take down those mines. So here's what we're gonna do. No splash on the beach. That is what we like to see. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Get my hero down. We gotta take down this mine. Okay, we're gonna flare up that way. Get the rest of my troops out. My rifleman will take a bit. Okay, and we'll start this very painful walk up to the core. Behind the core, actually, but it will take a very long time. And it looks like we'll probably lose my hero. Oh, that's what we needed. Get in there. Oh my gosh, my hero is going to be freaking clutch right now. That rocket launcher hitting my troops was the best thing that could have happened to me. Oh, frick. This is not going well. We dropped a shock out of, out of tear. <laughs> it's probably a little too early for that. We activated my hero. We'll get some critters down. We'll flare to the core and we'll see what happens, guys. Oh, frick. This is not going over very well. We hit a shock mine also, which is not helping. But surprisingly, we're destroying the core and we took down a level 69 using Ruka and level nine riflemen. I was not expecting that, but I am very pleasantly surprised. That is crazy. Granted, he did have a major base flaw, but still, the fact that we were able to defeat a high-level player using Ruka is kind of cool. Okay, time to switch up. I said I would switch up. We're going to bring a different hero ability. I did do a hero ability ranking, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, I'm just saying that because I'm pretty sure I put Crystal Critters at the very bottom, but they might not be as bad as I think they are. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do somewhat of the same combination. Um, we're going to flare. Yeah, we, we can flare up there. We're going to flare up there. We'll take down a bunch of these buildings. Maybe flare to the core. Get some critters down over here. That should work. That should work. Also, I'm on boosted. I just remembered that. Some of these players would be difficult if I was doing warriors on boosted. So... There's definitely that aspect to this video. Okay, I'm a little worried about flaring that far up. Like I'll hit a mine or something. But I'm hoping my troops will, will clump up. Doesn't look like it. We're going to take down that one lone mine just so we don't hit it. Get some smokes out. Okay, good. Rocket launchers are firing. Trying to get my hero in. Trying to let my troops peek out in front. Beautiful. Okay, we gotta make sure my Zookas don't get, or my Riflemen don't get too far out. Okay. That's not good. Get that flare up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Crystal shields. Let's go. We'll shock. We'll get some critters down. Oh my gosh. This is not, not going well. We are losing a lot of troops. We'll flare to that core. Let's go. Let's go. We'll get another shock out. Just trying to get to that core. Oh, we're going to defeat this easy. Crystal shield coming in clutch. Keeping me alive from the rocket launcher fire. Able to defeat a level 68 using Ruka. Guys, maybe Ruka isn't as bad as I thought it was. If I can defeat these players using Ruka with level nine riflemen. Maybe it's pretty good. No, it's not because I can do this with just Zookas or with one boat of heavies and it will be the same story. So I don't think riflemen are unique here. And you know what? We could defeat that base easy. I'm not gonna find a new opponent, but I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose. Oh, I wanted to switch up my hero. Time for the last hero from uh, the last hero ability from Dr. Kavan. Second wind, my most upgraded one, my favorite one. Uh, we'll find a new opponent. I don't remember what it was, but I remember seeing prototypes. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I have a plan. Let's hit attack. So 
Will I be able to do the one by one walk? I think so. We'll see. Yeah. Oh my gosh, frick me. Okay. Critters are down, or <laughs> Hero is down to save my troops. Okay. Put her back. Get smoke. The rest of my riflemen. I don't want to let my Zookas peek, but I do want to let my riflemen peek. But I need to make sure they're far enough up so I don't lose my hero. Perfect. My smokes are perfectly upgraded, guys. <laughs> like, for real. It, it's crazy. Okay, we're gonna activate Dr. Kavan. Try to get some more troops up in here. I am trying to distract my tail from the rocket launcher stuff happening. Uh in that smoke gap I had. Okay, this is going well. We're just going to gather my troops. We're probably not gonna do too much. Let's activate my hero. I'm just uh, just clearing away. And now we'll flare to that core and we'll try to take it out. We'll shock all the splash again. Oh uh, gosh, this is, this is not looking good. And my troops really have to deal damage fast. I am not gonna be able to defeat this. I guess we're probably gonna get one loss today. But that's okay because we were able to defeat some high level players using Ruka. Don't tell me they didn't have very good base designs because I know that's true. But still it's super fun to try this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like if you did. And I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.